Hey friends, it's Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my review, demo, swatches, and two eye looks using the brand new Natasha Denona Glam Palette. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to see how I achieve this look, a lot of comparisons, and all the details about this new palette from Natasha Denona, then just keep on watching. My Natasha Denona Glam and Shadow Palette finally made its appearance to my house. And I say finally because I ordered right at the time that it was launched on Sephora's app, which it was a little bit earlier than it was intended to be launched. And I paid for overnight shipping, but yet they delayed it and I felt so upset about it because, I mean, I have, like everybody else, I have a schedule. I also film in natural light. And for example, yesterday, this puppy right here arrived very late into the evening. And although I do have a big light, I like to, I like to film actually in natural light so you can get a better sense of how the products they look, you know, in real life. But anyhow, it made its way here and I'm just super happy. As soon as I saw all the sneak peeks that reveal from Natasha Denona's Instagram, I felt like, oh my goodness, this palette is for me. I really, really want to have it. I do have a ton of Natasha Denona palettes, but this one right here really like, boom, pulled me in right away. This is one of her midi palettes. So it's the medium size. She has a 28 pan palette size which are her two big ones the green and the purple one i'm still dying to get the purple one i haven't been able to but oh well that's okay perhaps during the holidays who knows and then she came out for her anniversary last year with the metropolis palette which she has a lot a lot of different shades it's this one right here and this is another size, but this is the only one on this component. Then she has her traditional ones, which they cost $129, like this one, the gold palette, and they come with 15 different shades. And then she start changing a little bit this kind of leather foamy component right here to a plastic component with the Viva palette, which I particularly like quite a bit because it's more sleek. It's just a little bit easier to clean too. Not only that, these palettes right here, you're able to take the eyeshadows and rearrange them the way that you want to. With the ones that they look like leather, you need a magnet. And then with this one, this type right here, there are pin holes on the back that you can actually pop the eyeshadows out and again this cost $129 so last year she came out with her sunrise palette that I have it but I just have too many palettes right now everywhere and that was her first midi palette costing $65 which I think although it's still expensive for the quality of Natasha Denona I think it's ideal mostly for the everyday type of consumer, someone that is not a makeup artist but perhaps doesn't need so much eyeshadows and yes, this one right here, the new Glam palette is a midi size, it's made in Italy, it does have 24 months of shelf life and there's a different layout right here of the eyeshadows and we're going to talk about that in a minute and here we go, here I have the palette. It comes in this beautiful component, again, plastic. You still find the pin holes on the back, so you can get a toothpick or a little pin or a needle and just poke the eyeshadows. I, in fact, show you how to do this, you know, rearranging Natasha Denona palettes and other palettes too. I will leave the playlist on the card where I actually grab all the palettes of certain particular brand and then I rearrange them and I curate a palette according to an inspiration. Okay, going back into this baby right here, it is now available at Natasha Denona's website, also at Sephora Online. It's coming at Sephora stores and other stores on the 14th. What I really like about this time around is Natasha Denona on her Instagram, she posted a specific date for different countries. So I think that was amazing that she did that because Natasha Denona is sold worldwide. It's not only a USA, Canada theme or certain countries only, you know? So that's amazing. So, so good. Okay, so here we go. 
let me just show to you this baby right here and by the way I will be leaving all the links of where you can get it beautifully she's supposed to receive it really soon too they will be all in the description box below celebrity just have so too so here it is the palette close it comes with 15 different shades five of them are matte shades and then the rest are metallic shades this palette also brings something very new for Natasha Denona. She decided instead to give to each of these eyeshadows a specific name. She just instead named them like center eyelid, this one again is center eyelid, inner corner, crease, transition, and so forth. So there's some right here that you will find, you know, repeated, but she did it in a way, I think this is a very smart way to do it, because if this is not gonna go necessarily for a makeup artist, usually a makeup artist is not like a YouTuber that we have to read names for the reviews, you know what I mean? They just use the, the eyeshadows they create, like whatever. And then the regular consumer, sometimes they need that extra guide so I'm like okay how if I'm not very if I'm just tipping my toes for example on cool tone eyeshadows how can I make them look really nice without them looking too gray or too just murky looking you know what I mean and I think this is a really nice way to do it because Again, Natasha Nona, she's a makeup artist and she's giving you kind of like a guide, okay? This is my recommendation where you can use it. Now, I know there's people like, I don't like it, I don't like it that way, but you have to think that, you know, there's people that have a lot of experience with makeup and eyeshadows and there's people that they have none. So I think this is a very nice way to introduce something different. I feel positive about it and I don't mind it. Also, another thing to note is that Natasha Denona eyeshadows, they do have a code. So if you, for example, go to the back of this palette right here, you will see right over here the number and the type of eyeshadow that it is first. For example, the center eyelid is, it has a code 320M and then outer eyelid, the upper one is 321M. All these eyeshadows from this palette are new. They are not repeated shades. But if say you wanna compare, okay, what I'm receiving, what from where, you can also refer to that code. So that's something very important to note. Now, I have my opinion on this palette. Seeing it in person is gorgeous, but before I give you those final thoughts, I want to give you first swatches. We're going to go into comparisons and then we go into my final thoughts. So let's start with the swatches and let me get closer. I'm going to swatch this palette row by row. Center eyelid 320M Dusty Light Rose. Outer eyelid 321M Medium Warm Gray Brown. Inner corner 322K Peachy Champagne, Crease 323CM Medium Cool Taupe, Transition 324CM Mushroom Gray, Second row a Smoke 325CM Medium Cool Brown, Blend 326CM Cool Sienna, Lash Line 327CM Deep Cool Brown, Inner corner 328M Avalon, Center Eyelid 329M Medium Warm Silver Third Row Center Eyelid 330M Golden Nude Outer Eyelid 331M Pecan Brown Center Eyelid 332M Light Nude Outer Eyelid 333M Medium Cool Gray Brown Brow Bone 334M Neutral Champagne Okay, friends, and here they are, all the swatches. They all swatch beautifully. I do on pretty much all Natasha Denona eyeshadow palettes. I do have the mini ones, for example, the mini glam, which it was kind of like the first, like, here you go, a little dash of what's probably coming in 2020. These came out 2019, I think December 28, 29, something like that. It is right here. And then she gave us also this mini retro palette, which I'm going to talk about in a little. But yes, I think um, the formula, it feels very, very consistent, very soft, very creamy, butter creamy, very smooth. Okay, friends, let me get you closer so we can start with the first eye look. 
If you're new here to my channel, welcome. I want to let you know that I usually do not use an eye primer when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks just because I want to see how the eyeshadows perform all by themselves without any help. But you know, you are welcome to use an eye primer so that way your eyeshadow will look, you know, last longer or maybe have a little bit more, it will show more the pigment of the eyeshadow. Okay, let's get it started right here. I'm going with my Scott Bars number 62 brush and the shade Blend. And I'm going to take this eyeshadow and put it above my crease. Refer 01 brush and the shade is Smoke. And I'm taking this shade on my outer V. With the other side of the brush and with nothing in it, I'm just going to blend a little bit of this shade. I'm taking it a little bit on my crease. Sonia G Builder Pro and this shade Outer Lid. And I'm applying it on the third of my eyelid towards the end. A Smith 253 brush and center eyelid and I'm placing it from my inner third to the center of my eyelid. I have applied this eyeshadow completely dry. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and see what is the potential of this eyeshadow if applying it wet. I mean, this is extra foil, but either way, it has such a good payoff. BK Beauty 204 brush and this shade blend. Taking it on my lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer in the shade Smoke. And I'm taking it on the outer third of my lower lash line. Now with this shade, I'm finding a little bit of fallout. Make sure you tap off while you're brush and I'm taking this shade and I'm gonna line a little bit my upper lash line and just create kind of like a mini wing to lift up the eye. Refer a one brush and inner corner and I'm gonna apply it in the inner corner <laughs> and also I'm gonna go ahead and apply the same shade on my brow bone. Okay friends, we're gonna move on to this eye with the Scott Bars number 62 brush. We're gonna go to transition. And I'm gonna apply this all over my lid. Sonia G Classic Crease and the Shade Crease. And I'm gonna apply this on my outer third. These eyeshadows, they do have a lot of pigmentation, a lot. And then with whatever is remaining, I'm taking it a little bit into the crease. Let's start to build it up just a little bit more on my outer third. Same shade. Refer O2 brush and outer eyelid. And I'm gonna apply this shade on the outer third. The Smith 253 brush and the shade center eyelid. I'm going to take this shade and apply it from the inner third all the way until it meets with the other shade. Sigma E56 brush and inner corner. And I'm going to apply this shade right in the middle of my eyelid. Refer O3 and the shade center eyelid. I'm gonna take this shade and apply it on my inner corner. And on my brow bone. Now if finding that shade a little bit lackluster, I'm gonna go to the shade brow bone. Okay, that's a lot better. BK Beauty 204 brush in the shade crease. Taking it on my lower lash line. Sonia G Flat Definer and the shade Lash Line. Taking this shade on my lower lash line. These eyeshadows are just so creamy that they apply pretty much like 
a pencil eyeliner. Applying it also on my upper lash line and smoking that shade a little bit. Okay friends, let's go now into comparisons. On the top I'm going to swatch first Glam Palette and then at the bottom I will be swatching the palette that I'm comparing it to, in this case will be Mini Glam. And the most requested one is Sultry from Anastasia Beverly Hills versus that Glam palette. Now this one right here is no longer available. If I find it somewhere, I will make sure to link it on the description box below. It may come back for the holidays though. Usually these type of palettes, they come back in like a three pack, you know, or a bundle, etc. So let's go with this. Top Glam palette, down Sultry. Glam versus sultry. Okay, my friends, and now into my final thoughts right here. It is very important to note right here that if you are saying this palette right here is fully cool tone, I will say it's not. It is a, like Natasha and Nona describe it, it's a neutral cool tone palette. And it is so important in cases like this when you are not able to see it through an image, a video, the difference of the eyeshadows, the your undertones, and all the rest, to really see it, try to see it in person or actually try it. Because as I was trying this palette, I realized, okay, now I see what she did right here, even on layout. If you're looking to this palette on this nine section right here, this is what I consider the neutral tones and it even has, in comparison to the other side, just a dash of warmth in it. There's no warm undertone into it, it's more neutral, but in comparison to the other nine pan size, which is this right here. This, the one in the middle, is kind of like your breaking point right there. So you can actually, like I said, divide it into the palette. One that it is extremely cool tone and the other side right here that is considerably neutral, neutral tone. And I really enjoy this layout completely and absolutely. I love the variety of shades. Now, here we go. This palette may work for various skin tones, and it may be a little bit trickier for those that have very, very deep complexion because of the transition shades that they are here. There are only five matte shadows, which I find to be very helpful, but I think there's a couple metallic shades right here that they feel a little bit too repetitive. And one of them that I consider a little bit lackluster is this one right here, Center Eyelid. It looks too much alike to Brow Bone right here. Brow Bone is a lot more creamy. Now, Center Eyelid is a lot brighter, which I think it's, I mean, it's very, very pretty. But like I said, if you see it in person, in the camera you see a little bit more of the difference, but in person, the difference is just minimal. And then the other one will be these two right here outer eyelid and outer eyelid right here. I like this one a lot better because it does have those pearl crush crystals in it that gives a lot of dimension. Oh, what I'm doing right here, sorry. <laughs> okay, these right here. They are 
too close just just too close I would have say just keep this one keep this one right here and these two right here move it out of the way and include two other matte shades because obviously the ratios here of metallic and matte it's just abysmal now I understand why there are so many metallic shades right here is because it's a glam palette and to create a glam very glamorous look I mean, I'm not saying that it's necessarily a metallic, but usually we kind of connect the glam with that metallic, shiny, you know, very reflective shades, and that's what she's giving to us. Another thing, it is that this palette may not work for every single skin tone. I think for those who have medium, I mean, obviously light, light, medium, like mine, medium, tan, tan, when you're getting into the richer skin tones, you may find that you are gonna I mean like you can use still these as transition shades but you may find a little bit of like okay I need something to deepen it out. Another shade that would have really cool to see in this palette or at least a light color it would be the shade Seed. This is a cool tone neutral type of brown shade and I think that will be kind of that middle in between this shade right here and this shade right here. Let me just show it to you. I'm putting it on my middle finger, then this, and then let's go for this one, and then this one right here. You see right there? The one in the middle finger is the shade Seed from Viva, and I think that could have been a really, a really, really good shade for this palette, or a like in tone. I think that, that would have been great. Another thing that I would have liked to see because she implemented right here these two beautiful pink shades, I think they are just amazing, is something like this shade right here that she already has, but maybe just a little bit deeper. This would have been great. She has right here blend, but blend has a little bit, if you compare it, it does have a little bit more brown in it. And that's another thing about this palette. This palette has some cool tone browns, which I find very interesting. But if she would have done something again like this, but a little bit deeper, a little bit deeper in tone, that would have been excellent as another transition shade that perhaps would have worked a little bit better for those who had deeper and richer complexions. Okay, my friends, and other than that, I think the palette is a completely yes, thumbs up for me if you're eyeing it, if you wanna get it. I love the looks that I created. I see that I can create a lot more looks with this palette. I think it's a completely yes, yes, yes. I mean, there's nothing bad right here. I mean, all the shades that I tried today perform really well. Exception of this one right here, it kind of like owe me just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But perhaps because I was applying it on my inner corner, perhaps if I apply it all over the lid, it may be a different story. Be reminded, this is kind of the first impressions, but I think this is a palette that is completely 100% worth it if you're looking for a cool tone neutral palette. I think completely yes, thumbs up, yes. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with my purchase. And I'm so happy that you finally arrived. Okay, my friends, and I think this makes it for this video. I hope that you have found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Also, I would love to know from you, are you planning to get in this palette? Have you already got it? Are you playing already with it? Let's start the conversation. I'm while you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I think you're waiting too long. I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads because here on this channel I upload frequently a lot of reviews, hauls, and much more. If you have a little bit of a chance, don't forget to come and follow me on my Instagram right there. I keep you informed of the new makeup releases. Also, I take close up images of the products that I'm using and a lot more than that. If you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye bye